Students greeting supporters today as an average of 20 suicides daily happen from those suffering from PTSD, which affects more than 20% of military members. The nonprofit No Vet Alone focusing on suicide prevention today. They were welcomed by Whitney High School students. Members biking their way from Georgetown to Arlington, making a stop on the way. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza was at the event. These veterans have stopped at a number of locations and tell me today's welcome at Whitney High School was hands down the best they've ever seen. It is rewarding. Uh, when I came back in Somalia, we didn't have the parades that we have now. We didn't have the acknowledgement. So to me, this is a homecoming for me coming back from there. I dig this stuff. I really, it truly means a lot to me and to see the flags waving, to, to, the kids are excited. and With posters and flags in hand, every student stood outside their school this afternoon greeting veterans and first responders. It's important to honor these veterans because they sacrifice so much for us and this is the least we can do for them. After getting greeted, Members of No Vet Alone were served lunch. I just want to thank you for your service. Thank you for sacrificing, you know, time with your family and just your own time, really, because that's the biggest sacrifice is your own time. No Vet Alone empowers veterans through group activities to give these American heroes the life they deserve. The purpose of that is to get us, for veterans with PTSD and law enforcement with PTSD, we don't like to leave our house. Our house is a safe place. So it forces us to have to travel outside. So we push that envelope. Encouraging others to bring that awareness to their city. I work for an organization called Air Force Wounded Warrior. Um, and we are stationed all across the globe. And we're hoping to bring an organization similar to this to the Barksdale Shreveport area, which is where I live at in Louisiana. And for all other Texas school districts. I also would like to challenge any other school district in Texas to do it better than we did. And there you have it. The gauntlet has been thrown. Once those veterans finish out their Ride for Life 250 mile journey to Arlington, they're going to tour the AT&T Stadium. To learn more about No Vet Alone, visit us online at centexproud.com. In the studio, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.